Dear students, in this video, we have covered 66 important GK questions and answers on Indian national flag with explanation to make this video informative for you so that you can get prepared for your competitive examinations. However, in this part of video, we have given only 10 questions and other questions are covered in another parts of video. You can get the link of other parts videos in the description box. So let's start. Question 1. Who said this statement? A flag is not only a symbol of our independence but also the freedoms of all people. Your options are A. Jawaharlal Nehru B. Mahatma Gandhi C. Indra Gandhi D. Subhash Chandra Bose Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The right answer is A. Jawaharlal Nehru Jawaharlal Nehru, India's first Prime Minister, called it a symbol of freedom for all people and a flag of freedom for India. In the 1930s and 1940s, Nehru was one of the most important people in the Indian nationalist movement. On November 14, 1889, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was born in Allahabad. The man with a lot of ideas, that is Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, was also the India's first and longest serving Prime Minister. He was one of the most prominent leaders of the Indian National Congress and India's freedom struggle. He brought many of the country's intellectuals and young people into the movement's mainstream. Children and grandchildren were also important Indian leaders like Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. Question 2. Who designed the current national flag of India? Your options are A. Sachindra Prasad Bose B. Mahatma Gandhi C. Pingli Venkaya D. Sister Nivedita Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The right answer is C. Pingli Venkaya In 1921, Pingli Venkaya made the design for the Indian flag. It was a three-color flag with the Ashok Chakra in the middle. The colors were saffron, white and green. Flag was first made by Pingli Venkaya for the Indian National Congress. After being changed a few times, it became the national flag of India in 1947. Pingli Venkaya was a freedom fighter for India and a follower of Gandhi. Venkaya joined the British Indian Army when he was 19. He fought British in South Africa during the Boy War. During the war, Venkaya saw soldiers salute the Union Jack. This made him realize that his home country didn't have a similar symbol that people could use to recognize their country. He worked hard his whole life to make India a free country and gave his whole life to the country. On July 4, 1963, Pingli Venkaya passed away. Question 3. When did the chakra in the national flag replace the Cherkha pinning wheel. Your options are A. 1948 B. 1945 C. 1931 D. 1947 Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The right answer is D. 1947 There was a time when Ashok Chakra was not included in the Indian flag. The Charkha was included in the initial concept as Gandhiji had recommended including it. The name of the Charkha was officially changed to the Ashok Chakra on July 22, 1947. The Dham Chakra is shown as a wheel with 24 spokes and the Ashok Chakra is a representation of that wheel. The symbol of the Chakra spinning wheel which appeared on earlier iterations of the Indian flag before independence has been replaced with the Ashok Chakra which is depicted as a dark blue circle set against a white background. Question 4. Which statement is not true about India's national flag? Your options are A. Ratio of length and width of the flag is 2 is to 3. B. Chakra is a symbol of progress and mobility. C. Chakra is taken from the Ashok Chakra. D. Diameter of Chakra is 3 fourth of the height of white strip. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The right answer is A. Ratio of length and width of the flag is 2 is to 3. Each country has its own flag which can be different sizes. The Indian flag is a rectangle and the length to width ratio is 3 is to 2. It consists of 3 colors and in the middle there is a wheel. Samay Chakra is another name for Ashok Chakra. It has 24 spokes that represent 
the 24 hours of the day and show how time moves. It is made of khadi which is Indian cotton that is grown and made in India. It is a symbol of freedom and nationalism. Question 5. Which of the following can be considered as a crime? Your options are A. Wearing the flag down the knee B. Using the national flag made of plastic C. Use of national flag for business or profession D. All of the ever Your time starts now 5, 4, 3, 2 one. The right answer is D. All of the above. The flag code of India 2002 having a set of rules tell people how to use, display and raise the national flag in the country. The flag code of India said that the tricolor could be displayed in any way as long as the flag's honor and dignity were kept. The material used to make the national flag should be spun by hand, woven by hand or made by machine. People cannot wear a flag down to their knees, make it out of plastic or use it for business. The flag code spells out when you cannot use the flag and it says that the tricolor cannot be used for business. Question 6. Which color remains at the top while hoisting the national flag? Your options are A. Green, B. White, C. Saffron, D. Red. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. The right answer is C. Saffron. Deep saffron in the top, white in the middle and dark green at the bottom make up the national flag of India. The color saffron, also known as Kesaria, is always at the top of the flag, which is meant to represent the bravery and power of the nation. The white band with dham chakra in the middle stands for truth and harmony. The final band which is green in color represents the abundance of fertility, growth and good fortune that the land possesses. Question 7. What is the mean of white color used in the national flag? Your options are A. Sacrifice B. Truth and purity of thoughts C. Prosperity of life D. Growth and good fortune Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The right answer is B. Truth and purity of thought. Saffron, white and green are the colors that make up the Indian flag and each of these hues represent something different and important. The Indian culture is represented by the flag in many different ways, each of which is denoted by a different color. The top band of the Indian national flag is colored saffron, which represents the bravery and power of the nation. The white color stands for both truth and purity of thoughts. It is a religiously good color because it stands for the absolute truth and the light that leads us to it. With the Dham Chakra, the white middle band means peace and truth. Question 8. Where can the national flag be hoisted? Your options are A. At Rashtrapati Bhavan B. At Parliament House C. At the Houses of Common People D. All of the above Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. The right answer is D. All of the above. The display of the flag at any given time is not subject to any restrictions. The flag code of India has been revised to allow for the national tricolor to be flown in public spaces as well as on private homes and other buildings regardless of the time of day or night. In the past, the only acceptable time to fly the national flag was between sunrise and sunset. The current flag code of India states that the Tiranga can be flown at all times and in all locations without dishonoring its dignity and honor so long as it is flown appropriately. Now, at any time during the 24 hours that make up a single day, a Tiranga can be shown on the home of any citizen in the country. Question 9. Under which article did the Supreme Court declared the right to hoist the national flag as the fundamental right? Your options are A. Article 19 first, B. Article 14, C. Article 18, D. Article 21. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The right answer is A. 
Article 19 first. Citizens of India have the fundamental right as outlined in Article 19 1A of the Constitution of India to display the national flag on their property throughout the entire year provided that the property in question does not the dignity of the national flag. After India had been independent for 57 years, the country's highest court ordered that its people had the fundamental right to fly their country's flag with honor and respect. Question 10. Where was the biggest national flag hoisted by Indian diaspora? Your options are A. New York B. Berlin C. London D. New Delhi Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 One. The right answer is A. New York. Times Square in New York was the location where the Indian national flag, also known as the Tiranga, was flown in celebration of India's 75th Independence Day. The Federation of Indian Associations, New York, New Jersey and Connecticut, a leading diaspora organization, held an unique ceremony in Times Square to mark India's 75th Independence Day. The very first time the Indian tricolor was shown at the renowned location in New York City. Hope you like these general knowledge questions. If you really like them, please like my video, share my video among your friends and also to subscribe my channel. If you have any query or suggestion please write them to the comment box thank you so much